Excuse me. So, this video is about the benefits of community college. <laughs> Excuse me. According to the Institute for College Access and Success, in 2015, the average university student graduated with $28,950 in student loan debt. A 2016 reported by Forbes found that the average graduate in 2016 left school with over 37,000 in student loans. The level of debt holds many people back from getting married, buying a house, or starting a family. There's also a high risk of default. Default, new data shows that an estimated of 40% of borrowers will default on their student loans by 2023. However, you still want to and need a great education. So what are you supposed to do? You might find the answer at your local community college. Attending a community college for two years is a great way to reduce the cost of a college education and avoid some student loan debt. But is this choice right for you? So the benefits of community college. Community colleges give students a lot of opportunity options when it comes to degrees and career training. Like myself, I have an associates. I went to a community college for human services. So one is lower tuition and fees. No matter which college you attend or which major you choose, your first two years will mainly consist of the same set of classes. For example, every freshman and sophomore has to take English 101, a natural science class such as biology or chemistry, U.S. history or civics, and a college-level math class. At a typical university, you'll pay 400 to 600 or more per credit hour for these basic classes, which means each one will cost you about 1,200 to 1,800. Community colleges typically charge $45 to $250 per credit hour depending on where you go and your residency status. So if your local community college charges $125 per hour, each class will cost you around $375, which means you're saving up to $1,425 per class, which adds up fast. Attending a community college for two years enables you to get all your basic classes out of the way while saving a significant amount of money. This in turn reduces the amount of money you'll have to borrow when you transfer to a four-year school. And you can still apply for scholarships and financial aid for community colleges, which will further lower your attendance cost. Financial aid isn't keeping pace with the rising costs of tuition. According to research, um, grant aid to under, undergraduate students increased by an average of 1,020 in the 2011 to 2012 school year as well as the 2016 to 2017 school year. So that's one way, um, one benefit of community college. Another benefit of community college is the opportunity to improve your transcript. You know you should apply to, for college scholarships to help offset the high cost of tuition. However, if your high school transcript is less than rosy, you won't qualify for most scholarships. That's where community college can help. Achieving straight A's in community college can help you earn scholarships that previously wouldn't have been available to you. Furthermore, if you aspire to attend a prestige private university but weren't accepted out of high school, attending a community college may help you help your chance at admission. Another benefit is lower living costs. When you're heading off to college, tuition isn't the only cost you have to consider. You also have to consider the extra cost of gas, car maintenance, and other living expenses. If your dream school is in another state, moving and finding an apartment to rent or paying for a dorm is significant expense. Attending community college for two years means you might be able to live at home. Like I lived out on my own uh, while going to college. So another great um, benefit of community colleges is greater flexibility. Imagine paying a hefty price tag at a private university only to realize that the major you originally declared isn't really what you want to do. While you can change your major, you might be surprised to learn that many of the classes you've already taken won't count towards your new one. That's a lot of money and a lot of time down the drain. A community college gives you the chance to test the waters at a drastically lower cost than a four-year university. You can explore different classes or fields to determine if you really want to pursue your chosen major. You might even discover that college isn't really for you and you'd rather attend a technical college or enter a high paying field that doesn't require a college degree. 
And also, it's... You can also learn the same lessons at a four-year university, but there are many more distractions. So some of the things you can learn uh, and transition to is you can learn about time management, motivation skills, learn how to juggle multiple responsibilities, preserve through tough challenges, and develop self-discipline. So, and then we have number the five, number five benefit um, of community college is easier to work. According to a community college research center at Columbia University, 69% of community college students work while they attend school, and 33% work more than 35 hours per week. Many students also have children, which means they're juggling classes as well as parenting responsibilities. Community colleges understand that their students need flexibility, which is why they offer more night and weekend classes than you'll find at a four-year school. If you need to work while you're in school or take classes around your child's school schedule, you'll have a lot more opportunities at a community college. Community colleges also gives you the opportunity to earn an associate's degree before you transfer to another school, which can lead to higher earnings. Um, at a benefits of community college, number six, more support. Basic courses at a four-year school often have 150 to 300 students, while the same class at a community college may have 25 to 35 students. That gives students more opportunities to interact with their professors and ask for help if they need it, leading to deeper engagement and greater success in school overall. And then another benefit of community college is high quality professors. Some people assume that community college professors are low quality than those at a four-year institute. This is a myth. College, community colleges are full of high qualified, talented professors. And they are the main reasons why they chose to teach at a community college rather than a university. So now that we've gone over some of the benefits, there are some drawbacks. Of course, there are also drawbacks. So, one is limited course offerings. I couldn't find everything that would transfer from a two-year community college to a four-year uh, at UMA, but a lot of it did. So, two, lack of campus life. I didn't really have to deal with this because I wasn't an on-campus student, but... At a four-year school, the campus hums with activity. There were sports teams, just sport, clubs, activities to attend, and a bunch of things. Community colleges often don't have that college atmosphere of a four-year school because students don't live on campus or spend a great deal of time there. Where I went, there was some um, people who lived on campus. So, And then the other, the biggest one, I think, would be transfer snafus. Sometimes things don't transfer right, so I had been, I made sure before taking a class that it would transfer into UMA. And all of my classes did transfer. And then the last thing they say here is that there's fewer networking opportunities, but I didn't have that. I found a lot of networking opportunities just at my community college. So. Your success at community college depends on the type of experience you want. If you're looking to have a real college experience, then attending a two-year might not be right for you. So they ask questions. Did you attend a community college? How was your experience and benefited your life and career? And was there anything you didn't like? I did. I loved my experiences with, you, um, uh, with um, Eastern Maine. Go Eastern Maine. Anyway. Uh, sorry, that was just a weird moment. Uh, and it... I think it benefited my overall um, career choice because I spent less money than and I would have just been at UMA. And as I said, mostly everything transferred. So they really wanted to let Eastern Maine Community College. Thank you for listening.